Hey, welcome back to Crossfader. My name is Jamie Hartley, and this is just a quick update for any Denon Prime 4 users or anyone thinking about buying the Denon Prime 4. There is a new firmware update that's coming this week, if it's not already out at the time of this being uploaded. It's version 1.3.2, and they've added those all important features that you users have been asking for, in particular, those horizontal waveforms. Let's take a closer look at some of those new features. The Denon Prime 4 version 1.3.2 firmware update brings with it a few new features. Two of the key things that I really like, first of all, this status bar that has been added. It's a global settings bar across the top of the screen and we just drag down to access it. We can turn on key features like quantize, continuous play, access the record feature really quickly. Um, there is stop time there as well to change how long it takes for the track to stop when paused. When it's swiped away, you can also see the status bar as to what's active and what's not. Next, Denon have listened. Everyone's asked for horizontal waveforms. And finally, in this firmware update, it has been released. That's one of the great things about Denon. They listen to the people using their products and they try to keep updating them for the features and the updates that people want. So here's how to access the horizontal waveform view. All you need to do is hold shift and press view. It will now switch from vertical to horizontal. We can still use the pinch to zoom gestures to zoom in and out. It does only show two waveforms currently, but if you go onto the second or third layers, what it will do is gray out, say deck one and highlight deck three and obviously put deck three's waveform in here as well. To go back, shift view if you want to go back to vertical. So that's a really nice touch and we're really happy to see that Denon have added, added this in into this firmware update. Next, if we go to the menu by holding view and go to utility, you'll notice that nudge sensitivity has been added to the device settings. This changes the how much the jog wheel will nudge a song depending on how fast you push it. So if the nudge sensitivity is low, it will provide more tension and if it's high, less tension. Now just bear in mind this is a digital sensitivity, it doesn't actually change the tension of the physical jog wheel so it doesn't get tighter to nudge, it just doesn't um, nudge as far if you have it on low, there's a bit more control there. So that's a really nice feature to have added and you would just go through and find which setting works best for your mixing style. Lastly, Denon have improved the BPM analysis of the music. So if you've got some songs on a USB that haven't been put through the Engine Prime software, but have some metadata, um, so, some BPM data in the metadata of the file, then it will use that BPM rather than reanalyze the song and attach its own BPM. So this is good if you've already got music that's been analyzed on your computer and you've just dropped it onto a USB. Denon will use that BPM information rather than reanalyze. There are other bug fixes and minor improvements. You can see all of the information on the release notes of the website, but those are some of the key features I just wanted to highlight in this quick video today. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get updates regularly on all the videos that we upload. See you again soon.